Hello my lovely Cancerians, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you are all well. For those that are new to my channel, a very warm welcome. And cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. Because this is a general love reading, the roles can always be reversed. So it can supply it to your situation. So let's get straight into your weekly love reading. What is going on, Cancer, with your heart space right now? Who are you thinking about the most? Or who is thinking about you the most? Let's see what's going on. Just saw that Eight of Cups, Pisces, Energy. Who walked away from who? That's what I'm really seeing here. Or who is emotionally disconnected and who's coming back? Ooh, wow. Strong messages already. Hmm. And a bit of confusion there on how to proceed forward. Cancer, did you feel like an option to this person? Did they make you feel like an option? Did they have options? Bit of a complicated situation here. It looks like someone walked away and they are regretting it. Gemini energy. Mm. Let's see. One more. I just saw that Knight of Pentacles. I feel like it's been quite a while. It's been some time here since you have spoken. For some of you, it could have even been more than one year. So let's see what's going on. For my lovely Cancerians, please. Let's see what's happening in your heart space, in your person's heart space. Ooh, all right. King of Wands wanted to come out from the bottom. Could be dealing with a Aries, a Sagittarius, a Leo. They're taking action towards you. They're acknowledging with that Five of Swords that they were quite selfish in uh, their time with you. Aquarius energy. Look at that. See what's poking out, which ultimately led to this ending. A loss, sad ending, divorce as well for some of you. Okay, you know what? These cards are really talking, so I'm going to stop shuffling and let's allow them to talk. Let's see. Bottom of the deck, what do we have? So we have Taurus energy here. There was definitely what felt like a beautiful commitment or engagement, marriage. Something happened here. Something came to an abrupt ending. Your person definitely would love to recommit to you because that Three of Wands is them actually returning back to you to be in your good graces. Four of Swords. I'm inclined to say with this Libra energy, a lot of you are definitely not talking to each other. Um, your person may be feeling a little bit burnt out. Cancer, this may be you as well, especially if you're working too much here. Maybe you're over committing yourself to something, especially work, but you're healing. You're absolutely healing. We've got the King of Swords, Aquarius energy. Could it also be a Gemini Libra, but strong Aquarius energy for me as a reader. Your person wishes, wishes, sorry, I said witches, uh, wishes to communicate with you, to get something off their chest, to get truth off their chest in regards to this commitment. Virgo energy with the Hermit. Yeah, some time has passed. Could even be nine months you know really for the worst case scenario it could be nine years for some of you but i'm really i mean even nine days but they are watching you though they wish to shed light on something here Ooh. but do you trust this person seven of swords aquarius energy i feel here that whatever happened with this disconnection whatever reason they gave you as to why they could not be with you anymore it was a lie and you know that so whether they were breadcrumbing you or they ghosted you or they blocked you or they gave you a lousy excuse as to why they couldn't continue on with this commitment. Because I feel like some of you are either married, maybe they were married to someone else, or you were even talking about getting married. Whatever excuse they gave you was not the truth. So we have the Two of Swords, Libra energy. We have Sagittarius energy here with Temperance. Five of Wands, oh wow. Leo energy. We have the Magician, Gemini, Virgo energy, and the beating heart of the reading. What do we have? The Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so they do want to provide, you know, give you something solid, a brand new start here. Four of Wands, and hopefully that leads to marriage. Aries energy. Seven of Wands, Leo energy, but they know that you're very defensive at the moment. If anything, you're probably very angry towards your person. We've got another Seven of Pentacles here. Taurus energy. Followed by the Two of Wands, Aries energy. Okay. You're in, you're trying to make a head over heart decision. I don't feel like now is the proper time for you to make a decision because you're quite angry, very unjust, very hurt by your person. But when we get the Two of Swords, Spirit says that, well, 
when they do come back, because I already see that they are, you will have to make a decision. Just so you can close that chapter if you want to. So there's a new chapter for you. So there's no more delays, there's no more stagnation. Because at the moment, you, you've got one foot in, one foot out. It is your person's desire here to have, um, you know, to build this union again, to, you know, come back, have this reconciliation with, you know, replace it with peace, harmony, balance. They will need to be patient with you. They know that. The only concern they have is with that five of wands is that if they do come back, it will erupt into an argument. I feel like for some of you, most likely it will. You're very angry. Something unjust happened with your person. There could have been a lot of competition for your person's attention as well. And unfortunately, they didn't have tight boundaries and they gave the attention to the wrong person. But now they're trying to make up for it with the magician. They're trying to manifest their way back into your life. I don't know why. They're kind of showing me like they're trying to weasel their way back into your life. Not in a bad way, but it's like they don't want to trigger you. They don't want you to be in like... I mean, this, they, they cannot avoid the way you're feeling right now. It's like back away. You know, don't get too close. I'll listen to you, but don't get too close. Um, you know, there's going to be some form of confrontation or a heavy conversation, but it's not going to stop them from offering you this big fat coin, the Ace of Pentacles. So that's beautiful for business, for career, for studies. But when we are talking about personal relationships, this is commitment. They want to prove to you that they're here 100%, and this can often lead to marriage. In saying that, we do have the Four of Wands, Twin Flame Energy. This is my engagement, my marriage card, moving in together. Your person's living arrangements could have changed, or maybe you're thinking of moving, you know, homes. Uh, sorry, like a change of address as well. But they, their wish is to come together and celebrate with you. That's what they want. They want to start all over again. But they're just going to have to get through you, that wall that you've created. They're not giving up on you, though. They may not take no for an answer. And it's not just them. It's not like being, um, like, you know, when someone's stubborn. No, it's just that they, they, they want to fight for you because they do love you. There are strong emotions here. They do want to rebuild this. They, they're hoping, crossing their fingers, that you will meet in the middle, though. They are willing to plant that seed, nourish this connection, and invest in it. But there's hesitation on your end. You know, you've got all these beautiful promises from your person coming back, and you're like, uh, mm, I don't know. But your person does choose you. You could be dealing with an Aries, doesn't have to be, but just know that your person does choose you. You could be at a distance from your person. See the different energies of the two where you're like, oh, I'm really defensive. Don't make me, you know, don't make me decide right now because I'm, I'm, even though I may have feelings for you, I'm still really, really hurt and angry where your person is like, I've reached a crossroads and now I choose you. Let's see. Let's clarify. These are very simple messages. So, so we've got that magician again. See? Yeah. They believe according to them that if you do come together, you have all the tools you need to make this work. Cancerian energy. You could be dealing with a fellow Cancerian. Energy. Two of Cups, Two of Ghosts, Soulmate Connection. So deep down inside, Cancer, if you really... There's that Four of Wands again. Four of Ibs. I'm feeling a lot of these were engaged, but you're not engaged anymore as well. We're talking about that. If you had to be honest with yourself right now, Cancer, and someone had to ask you, do you love your person? Do you still love your person? Is there a soft spot? I feel like for the majority of you, deep down inside, past this anger, that there is a soft spot for them. Let's see. Let's start clarifying. I'll put two cards on each one. Let's see what's going to happen. I'll take that one. All right. Bottom of the deck. There's that Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. And the card that came out was the Eight of Ghosts, Pisces Energy, Eight of Cups. That's the big issue here is that your person walked away from you or they emotionally disconnected, leaving you to pick up the pieces and it forced you to move on with your life. That's your hesitation here because you're worried that it could happen again. And I don't blame you. I would be hesitant as well. Yeah, see? Your person does desire, with that Three of Cups, Cancerian Energy, to reunite with you. And now, see, now they actually want to invest in this. Is it too late? It's going to be different for all of you. 
um, Cancer, but you see, you've got hesitation here, whereas this person, your person is more than happy to stay here long term, to plant the seeds of this connection and watch it grow. We've got that Seven of Wands though again, see? Seven of Wands. We've got the Seven of Imps, Seven of Wands. See, you're very, very defensive here, very apprehensive. So at the moment, that's why they're kind of holding themselves just back a little bit, being a little bit trapped, a little bit hopeless on how they can heal this. Ooh. All right, let's clarify. The Two of Swords is with clarified by the Hermit, Virgo Energy, and the Four of Imps, Four of Wands again. So, yeah, um, I'm all right. So, for some of you, you actually were the ones that did walk away from this. But a lot of you are also indecisive the fact because they walked away from this commitment. We've got the Four of Wands twice. So, once upon a time, both of you wanted the same thing. But your person here was one probably that pulled back their energy now. And you probably have not spoken, not even been in the same room for a very long time, though. So, there's that hesitation here. But you did want the same thing at one point. And they walked away. And you're seeing that as betrayal. And you're very angry over lost time, you know, false hope, false wishes here. So Temperance card is clarified by the Death card, Scorpio energy, and the Nine of Ghosts, Pisces energy. Okay, so, ooh. Okay, so this did come to an abrupt ending, but the Death card is all about transformation. That's why they wish to reunite with you and rebalance everything with peace and harmony. They could be emotionally attached to you. You are their wish fulfillment. But they could be emotionally attached to you. This usually happens when they've experienced some form of trauma on their end. And basically, you're, you're the only person that can kind of fill up that void here, which is not healthy. But you are their wish fulfillment here. So they do wish to transform this. According to them, they don't want this to be over. So where there is an ending, there is a beginning. So clarifying the Five of Wands with the Five of Pumpkins and the Four of Pumpkins. Five of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. Capricorn energy, Taurus energy. I feel here this is why they're afraid to come back. It's not going to stop them though, is that there's some abandonment issues. They could have just ghosted you, they could have left you, maybe there were options. They stopped returning your calls, text messages here. You felt left out in the cold. And lo and behold now, they're the ones feeling a little bit left out in the cold and they can't let you go. They know that you're keeping your cards close to your chest. You're being a little bit defensive here. You don't want people to get too close to you at the moment. I feel that you're still healing, but they are not letting you go. They're not going to take no for an answer. Uh, but mind you, not in an aggressive way, though. They do want to fight for you, fight for this connection. Clarifying the Magician with the Empress and the Seven of Ghosts. Taurus energy, Scorpio energy here as well. So this is the thing, a lot of you are more angry because you do you did feel like an option to your person. But they're seeing as the Empress energy. You could be the mother of their children, or maybe you are pregnant now, or you have children. Maybe you were even talking about having children. So there could be children involved here on some level. It doesn't have to be. But there is a slight confusion here on how to approach the Empress, which is you. Male or female, it does not matter. They're trying to manifest themselves, but it's just confusion here on how to approach you. There's many ways to approach you. They just don't want to trigger you. They don't want to approach you on a bad day. They just don't know what's a bad day for you. That's what's happening. Hmm. Yeah, I'm also feeling here that there was an option and they went, well, they pretty much packed up and they left with someone else. That's that Eight of Cups. So clarifying at the heart of the reading, the Ace of Pentacles with the Nine of Imps and the Queen of Ghosts. There you are. So even though they're going to be offering you that big fat pentacle, um, we have Sagittarius energy and there you are. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. There you are. They do love you. They do love you a lot. And you're using your intuition about this situation. But now you're like full blown Nine of Wands where your walls are totally up. So they are feeling kind of defeated, a bit deflated here. They know that you're apprehensive as well. Your person is absolutely tired as well, but they're not giving up on you. You must know that they are not going to give up on you. Once contact has been initiated, and let's just say, let's make the story easier. Let's say if you do return their messages, you do return their calls, they are not going to give up. And they're going to prove to you why you should give them another chance. So let's clarify that four of wands. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. And the Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. So that's my marriage card. This is also my marriage card as well. It's my commitment card. They want long term with you. So when they do come back, they're here to stay. 
and they're prepared with that eight of um, pumpkins, eight of pentacles, to prove to you. It's all about proving oneself with that eight of pentacles that they're willing to work hard on this. They want to show it to you, not just with words, with actions. Some of you may have met through work or school or an institute, maybe still work together, which can make it a little bit awkward because I'm just getting a lot of fiery defensive energy from you. I would probably be feeling the same. Now, notice that we got the Hierophant twice. So I'm, either there was a strong commit, what felt like a strong commitment here, or there was engagement or marriage here. Maybe a person was married. Either way, there was talks of that, but now they're willing to work 100% on that. But let's clarify your energy. Seven of Wands, Six of Bats, and the Devil. Six of Swords is ruled by Aquarius, and the Devil, we have uh, Capricorn energy. Some of these may have actually decided to move on. A lot of these do want to move into karma waters. And away from the devil energy, maybe you're looking at this now in retrospect that it was quite a toxic. It was very unhealthy. Whatever your person did, I mean, maybe they were dealing with a karmic here and they said, yeah, you know, we'll get divorced and all this and I'll promise you this, this and this and it never happened and it forced you to move on. So there's a small group of you, Cancerian, where you actually did move on. And you walked away or your person walked away from you but you do want peace that's very important right now you don't want anyone to give you troubles you just want peace here uh, your person could be over drinking here as well doing something very unhealthy as a means just to cope with what's happening i'm going to say they're kind of obsessed with you and a little bit obsessed about how to approach you because they are definitely afraid because they know a lot of these have already moved on and they don't know how to approach you because they don't want to anger you anymore Hmm. That seven and yeah, that's a card of temptations as well. I just I just had to say that. I feel like your person was tempted here. Like what you had, uh, cancer was a really good thing. And if they were tempted, they really shot themselves in the foot. So clarifying that seven of pentacles with the six of pentacles and the seven of swords. That's why there's hesitation. Now your person may be promising you now. See, I feel like there was a lack of equal give and take. They may have been giving their too much attention to someone else and not enough to you. But now they want to balance the scales. But you don't trust them. That's a seven of swords, Aquarius energy. And we've got Taurus energy there as well. That's your hesitation there. That's why it's like, oh, do I, yes, no, do I revisit this? There was lack of equal give and take here. You don't trust your person. That is about lying, cheating, stealing. Trust has been lost. Loyalty has been lost. Yes, deep down inside, maybe you still love your person. Maybe there are feelings there, but there is major hesitation on your end, though. So let's talk about that two of wands, ace of ghosts and the knight of pumpkins. So just prepare yourself because we do have the slowest knight. But when this knight arrives, the knight of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, yes, they choose you. But when they arrive, they arrive correctly and they're offering you that big cup, the ace of cups to start brand new love. Ooh. And the question is, what will you do, Cancer? Will you allow this person back into your life? Or will you move on? Because I feel like a lot of you have already started moving on. They are, I have to say, they are coming back. They're offering you that big Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups here. They're prepared to work on this. Absolutely. Yes, the damage has been done. I understand that. But that's not going to stop them. Hmm. Just be careful. There could be something quite toxic about this person. You know, with that devil card and the seven of swords, a lot of you are very apprehensive because you're just worried they're going to fall back into their old habits, for example. Please use your intuition because you did come out as the queen of cups. You know the truth of this situation. It will be different for everyone. The only, what I can say positive about this is yes, they do, they have seen the error of their ways and yes, they're willing to go out of their way and prove to you and break down these walls as well that they really want to work with you on this. Look what they're worried about, that nothing will come of this situation. That's what they're worried about. Internal fears and anxieties, conclusions are within reach. Followed by the end of a tough cycle approaches. You could be dealing with a Capricorn followed by hold your vision. This is them. They're trying to manifest them. Where, that's like I'm, I'm instantly picking up uh, the magician. They're trying to kind of <laughs> weasel their way back into your life. Spirit said, look under that. Yeah, I, look, we've got Aries here and also time of healing. 
a fiery climax approaches and a time for healing. Mm. Okay. So, it is really up to you, Cancer. Do you want to open up lines of communication? Because they're certainly going to make a huge effort to win you back. I have to say that. So I'll leave this here. My lovely Cancerians, please take care of yourself and your loved ones. And until next time, take care. Bye.